Hi. Hello. Um, first of all, I'll, I'll let the other guys deal with transfers and deadline days. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, into a, a team news. Any any injuries? Any fresh doubts going into the weekend? Uh, no, I think uh, everyone that was involved the other day against uh, West Ham has finished well the game and uh, probably they are a little bit tired because we played not a lot of hours ago, but uh, no, uh, I think uh, we can even recover Max Arons that uh, wasn't involved because he was ill, so I think uh, Max will will be able to to come with us. Uh, and no, I, uh, there is no other new injuries. You made a lot of changes for the West Ham game, brought some guys in. Did um, Does that give you a few decisions to make? Did anyone do enough there to give, make sure they get a, a lead start this season? Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy, but it's uh, the way it should be for me, no? to, to have uh, difficult decisions to make. And uh, I prefer it like this, because uh, uh, we change in some positions and they are performing very well and you have to get the, the right decisions but uh, when you have two good options normally uh, it's easier for the for the coaches yes. had two league matches so far one one in the cup you haven't won a match yet but do you feel that the results have reflected or not reflected the way the team's been, been playing I'm I'm really happy. I'm really happy the way we are doing the the things. I, I finished very happy this week against the, the game against Newcastle. I I finished very happy the game against West Ham. Not happy because actually you want to win the games and go to the next round. But uh, very pleased with the performance of the team. I I really liked the two games we played. It's true that the reward has been very little for me considering the performances. But uh, especially at the beginning of the season, I I want to see my team playing well and doing uh, good good things on the pitch. And I see uh, players in a in a good moment. For sure, we need to improve because at the end the games are decided in the in the boxes, and we have to take our chances and we have to uh, take uh, benefit from the moments that we are being better than the opposition. But I like. The, the 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 way the, the team is, is 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 playing until today yes. Um, early, fairly early on last season, you, you lost heavily against Everton. Um, yep. A year on from that now, how different do you see the situation now? How do you look at your team now compared to then when you were in a difficult spell at the start of your time? For me, it's a very difficult game to go to go this one to play. They are very. They push you a lot there. We have the experience from past season. Probably, I don't know if it was the worst, probably one of the worst games we played, for sure, past season. And they were better than us, better than us, and they deserve to beat us. Uh, I hope we we also can, can learn from that experience. I think we are uh, a more solid team now, but even doing good things is not enough to, to get a result there. I think uh, even the the game against Brighton that they at the end they lose 3-0 and it looks like, no, no. Uh, and, uh, you see the first 50-60 minutes of that game and they were putting a lot of pressure against Brighton and probably they deserved other things in, in that game. And I, I know that the game is going to be difficult. I know it. And we have to be ready to, to defend very well to don't concede anything because they have uh, they have good threats, yes. I was going to ask you, you made the point there about the, the Brighton game in particular. They've had two heavy defeats so yeah. far at Everton. Um, and as I asked you before, do you yeah. think that's a fair, fair reflection of the, of the way they've played? Because people will look at it and think Everton no. really struggled at the start. No, for me, they had uh, probably two different games. Uh, I think they had very, very good moments against Brighton in the first game. But uh, it's what... It's not always, you know, you have to take your chances. What uh, it happened uh, for us, especially against West Ham, no? Uh, you have very good moments during the games. You recover very good, very good balls. You have your chances. You don't score uh, in the Premier League. Uh, if you don't take your chances, you are facing always very good opposition and they will punish you, no? And I think they were very good for some moments, uh, for not some moments, for a long period against Brighton. And probably the game against Spurs was was different. No, I think 
Tottenham away is is, is a very difficult, uh, very very difficult game. But uh, I think they are a they are a good team. They they know very well uh, how to play. They showed during long spells past season that uh, they push you a lot. They press you. They kept you. In next to your goal, uh, and, and we have to be ready because also in Godison, you know, is uh, uh, everything is looks very tight. There are small spaces. You have to be very good in reacting to second balls, uh, defending crosses, uh, and I hope we are. I hope we are. We have a very very quick uh, turnaround, and uh, for sure. Uh, it's gonna be everything quite rushed, you no? Know, coming from another away game, and now, but I, I hope we are ready for the game because it's gonna be challenging. The first few games of the season, you had it's fair to say a few decisions that perhaps haven't haven't gone your way. Do, do you have to guard against that? It can creep into the mentality of the team that they feel that things just are going against them, and, and the whole world is against them almost. Yeah, I. I try to focus in the things we can control. There are things that we cannot control. I will try not to think too much in those things. Uh, focus in the things that uh, you can change, you can alter a little bit, and, uh, and, and, and trust the referees and, and, and hope that they do good their, their job. But uh, I think I don't want to continue with... Uh, you know, focusing too much on the refereeing, and I, I prefer to control the things we can control. Are you of that sort of mindset that eventually some of these decisions will go your way at some stage of this season? No, for sure, it's a matter of uh, statistics, no? For sure, sometimes I don't know if it, they are going to level or not, but uh, uh, I, 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 I don't want to lose too much time in, in, in these things. And just, just finally from me, you've got this, this match coming up, and then an international break. Um, does that come at a good time for you? Good chance to work with work with the squad and get get some good time in. How, how will you use that time? At the end, uh, you cannot choose. Is what it is, and uh, it's true that I think we are losing uh, some most mostly half of the team. I would say because uh, luckily for us, we have some players that uh, they will have games during the the break. But uh, obviously, you have to use this this these two weeks the best you can. To try to, especially with the with the new players, no, try to use this this time to make them feel more 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 confident, more more comfortable with the way we want to play, and uh, and start uh, start well after the the two weeks. Yes, thank you. Thank you.